Thank you very much. Uh, respected judges, my colleagues have stressed the need for various actions to, to make meaningful progress toward limitations and exceptions to support libraries, archives, and museums, and education and research. I want to turn the question upside down and ask, what happens if WIPO does not take action to advance these agenda items? Bad things will happen if this gap in the copyright system is not filled. First, we already know from the studies by Professors Cruz and Seng that exceptions in national copyright laws range from robust to none and everything in between. If WIPO does not step forward, the vacuum will be filled by ever more divergent national practices. Second, without adequate exceptions, libraries, archives, and museums risk infringing copyright simply to fulfill their fundamental mission to preserve their holdings and make them available for research. They face two hard choices, either limit service to their users out of fear of infringement or resort to workarounds to circumvent copyright, such as taking a risk management approach instead of strict copyright compliance, and thus undermining the international copyright system. Either choice inevitably has a direct impact on research and education. Third, the pandemic has taught us that global and digital are the watchwords not just of the present, but for the future. Issues such as cross-border access must be addressed at the international level. Only WIPO can do that. WIPO's mission is to lead the development of a balanced and effective international IP system. Only an international instrument can establish a consistent level of exceptions globally to ensure that our cultural heritage can be preserved and made available for research and education. So time's up. It's now time for SCCR to begin text-based work to move this agenda forward in a bold and innovative way. Failure to do so will perpetuate increasingly divergent national laws, a weakened and disrespected copyright system, and limited ability to support preservation, research, and education across borders and around the world. Thank you.